you like to amaze your friends? Watch how you can transform usual things and accessories into something else. I'm going to iron my clothes. I take an iron, but suddenly realize I need spray. I leave the iron on for a minute, and it's enough for my friend to cook her breakfast. Wrap a piece of foil around a big roll of tape. Make pan-like handles. Take off the foil pan. Take the ingredients for making a fried egg. Turn over the iron and put the DIY pan on the sole plate. Put in a few slices of sausage. Break an egg on top. Wait until it fries. Remove the fried egg from the iron. Add some salt and sprinkle with herbs or spices. Bon appetit! Enjoy your fried egg, though your friend doesn't like you to use her iron in such a weird way. And don't say you just wanted to have breakfast. Well, my friend uses my iron instead of an oven, I use her kettle instead of an iron. Open the top of a boiling kettle and hold wrinkled clothes above the steam. Be careful not to scald your hands or arms. Steam removes wrinkles quickly and easily. My chewing friend doesn't need my iron anymore. Neither do I. I've smoothed my clothes using my steam from the kettle life hack. Sitting on the sofa, you have to reach out for your drinks and snacks as the table is far away. If you often find yourself in such a situation, you know what we mean. Your friend gets quickly tired of your constant request to pass you a drink. Take two cans of Pepsi, a cap, and an elastic band. Measure out the appropriate length of elastic. You'll need two pieces to fit the can girth and one piece to fit its height. Put the can to the cap side. Make the necessary cuts. Pass the elastic through the holes. Sew it down to the wrong side. Repeat for the rest of the elastics. Make the same cap holder on the other side. Be sure they are fastened symmetrically. Make a pipeline. Make a little cut at the end of a drinking straw. Put in another straw to join them. I come back with my awesome cap and put it on my friend's head. Let her sit and drink her Pepsi, busy with her phone. She'll finally leave me alone. And as for me, I've constructed a whole Pepsi line between my cup and my mouth. We're going to have a party. We want everyone to have fun, so there should be lots of sparkly balloons. How to make them sparkle? Put in some glitter. Inflate the balloons. Your party will be unforgettable. To make the glitter spread evenly inside the balloon, try another trick. Use your friend's head. She won't object. Rub the balloon against her hair. When rubbed, the balloon acquires static charge that causes glitter to stick to the balloon. It also prevents it from falling. Now my balloon and your flyaway hairstyle are ready for the party. My friend and I are drinking tea. Oops, it seems I've spilled it a little. A paper towel is just what I need. But it looks like this young stargazer wants to use it as a telescope. What's so interesting about it? My friend is ready to blow on me to make the stain dry so that she won't part with her new toy. What's inside of it? Let's turn a regular paper towel roll into a marvelous kaleidoscope. Trace the inside circle of a paper towel roll. Fit an equilateral triangle into it. Cut out the circle. Measure the length of the triangle side. Make it on cardboard three times. This will be the length of the stripes we will need. Now, we should measure the width of the roll, make it half an inch smaller, and put it on the cardboard. This will be the length of the stripes. Draw three equal stripes one after another according to the measurements. Cut out three stripes together. Do not cut them apart. Attach them to foil. Cut off the excess. And now, we can cut them apart. Fasten them with thin tape on the cardboard side. Fold the stripes to shape a prism so that the foil is inside. Tape the last edge. Wrap it with the tape so that the prism doesn't fall apart. Put it inside the paper towel roll. It is even from one side. From the other side, our prism will be half an inch lower than the level of the roll. Make some more circles tracing the template of our paper circle. Cut out three plastic circles. Add another one from parchment paper. Make one more from colored cardboard. Fill the kaleidoscope with colorful stars. Tuck the transparent circle until it stops where the prism level is lower. 
The circles should fit tightly so that there are no gaps. Pour out sparkles and small sequins or beads on the top. Hot glue the second plastic circle to the edge of the cardboard roll. Cover the top with the parchment paper screen. Turn over the roll. Close the hole with another plastic circle. Punch a hole in the center of the color cardboard circle. Hot glue the cardboard circle over the transparent one. Here we go! There is no one around. I can quickly check what's inside of this thing that looks like a paper towel roll. I should just unroll it until the very end. The answer is out there. I did unroll it till the end, but there is no answer inside. How does this kaleidoscope work? It is still a mystery to me. Oops! The owner of the kaleidoscope won't like the sight of her favorite toy broken. It's time to run away. Let her run around in a paper towel coat. This will be a teachable lesson for her, and she won't damage other people's stuff ever again. And my kaleidoscope is safe and sound. I need to calm down after such a huge stress. A handy massager is just what I need. Moreover, it is as easy as ABC to make. We will need an old lint roller. Wrap it with decorative tape. Now we can add dots with hot glue with equal intervals between them. Cover the entire surface. This tool relaxes and gently massages and calms you down. Down. You might as well fall asleep. My friend's school supplies are always a mess. They're scattered all over her desk. How does she pick them around the house? It's great she's got a friend like me who's an efficient school supply manager. I can conjure a stationary holder. Cut a magazine in half. Squeeze hot glue onto a spine and roll the magazine. Take some pages and apply hot glue along the spine inside. Turn the pages to attach their edges to the spine. Repeat for the other part of the magazine. Put the base on cardboard and outline. Cut out the bottom and hot glue to the flower-shaped holder. Put your school supplies into the petals. This cute flower holder looks gorgeous. Besides, it's quite practical. All your school supplies will be kept in order. You'll never lose anything. There's no eraser at the end of my pencil again. A headless pencil isn't a problem because my friends got the one eraser ring. Cut the eraser with a metal end out of a pencil. Take a blank ring and hot glue the eraser to the pad. If you want to erase something, turn the ring with the eraser down. Aha! Here she is! My friend with her magic ring. I grasp her hand and start erasing my mistakes. She thinks it's too much and gives me her eraser ring. She doesn't want me to take her hand each time I want to correct my mistakes. Fire is no game. How do you protect your hand from hot oil splatter? Use a DIY hand protecting screen. Snip off the top part of a plastic bottle. Melt the edges using a lighter. Put in the handle of the kitchen utensil you're going to use. Put your hand into the bottle top. My friend gives me the plastic screen. I hold the handle inside keeping my skin protected from the grease burn. Take your fried egg out safely and easily. Bon appetit! I'm reading a magazine and suddenly strange things start happening around me. It looks like a horror movie beginning. Oh God, or is it my friend who's made up her mind to play tricks? Take lightweight table tennis balls. Take off an air concentrator. Turn on a hair dryer. Place a ball into the airstream. To perform this magic trick, you need a friend a hairdryer, and a table tennis ball, and no magic spells. My favorite pair of socks is totally wet, but I need them right now. What should I do? A hairdryer will fix the situation. Wring out wet socks thoroughly. Pull the sock on the hairdryer instead of the air concentrator and turn it on. A stream of hot air dries the fabric from the inside much faster. Dry the rubber separately. No sock can resist my hot weapon. Drying mission is complete. I love blowing soap bubbles, but there are very few bubbles and I'm out of breath in a minute. I've got an idea. You'll get a ton of soap bubbles if you direct a hairdryer at them. We have a swirl of soap bubbles. 
And you don't even have to strain your lungs. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new ideas of the Troom Troom.